I just finished my biggest AI video project ever. And no matter what people think, especially since they've now seen what Sora can apparently do, I'm pretty damn proud of what I've accomplished. The best tools are those that are available today. And that's why I'm going to be submitting this five minute video to Runway's AI Film Festival 2024. So I invite you to sit back, relax, and immerse yourself into an entirely new world. Thank you for watching and let the show begin. In the quest for progress, the line between salvation and destruction is not drawn by the discoveries we make, but by the choices we face. In a world where the sands of time meet the dawn of a new era, the ancient and the futuristic converge in a dance as old as civilization itself. Welcome to the Middle East 2045. Here, amidst the echoes of history, the future whispers secrets only the brave dare to uncover. Energy, the lifeblood of nations, has ignited a new kind of conquest. Renewable sources light up our skies, yet cast long shadows of a lands both old and new. In this realm of infinite power and potential, dependency has not diminished and has transformed, entwining destinies across the globe. But beneath the surface of the shining beacon of progress, the storm grows. A tempest of secrets, intrigue and conflicts for the resources that shape our very future. In the heart of the storm stands a figure, a guardian of secrets past and the key to futures untold. Her journey is one of courage, of shadows and of light. A path that threads through the essence of what it means to fight for what we hold dear in the face of the unseen and unknown. As the lines between ally and adversary blur and the race against time begins, one question lingers in the whispering winds. At what cost does progress come? Hello, William. Great to hear your voice, Layla. I've got something for you. Go check your watch. Oh boy, this sounds tricky. Best you go meet with Eric. ASAP. I hate this place so much. Every secret has its shadow in the city, and it's time to bring them into the light. Here's your assignment data. I wonder what this one's all about. Hmm, let's see. Little Red Riding Hood. Time to hit the field. There you are. We are hiding this out in Rubal Khali. Ha! I found it. I wonder why he was being so secretive. Jesus, so that's why. I need to get back to Doha immediately. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this year's summit. The days of scarcity are over. Shadows of tomorrow, 
we find the light of our choices today. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little film trailer of mine. And if you'd like to know more about how this was created, then make sure to stick around. So first of all, creating something like this is not easy at all. And I'm also fully aware of the fact that it's not perfect by any stretch. You see, with the current state of the tech, there's just so many fronts on which you still need to compromise all the time. And one of the most challenging aspects is, in fact, the story. See, unless you have some decent experience in storytelling, you're going to find that part really, really challenging. As much as ChatGPT can help you get the ball rolling, crafting a full story arc is still a whole nother story. And even if you do manage to put together a great storyline, creating a visual representation of that is still very difficult. Particularly fast-paced action sequences are nearly impossible to create. Not only do you need to generate the right images in mid-journey, but then you still need to animate them in Runway or Pika and, well, you know. So bringing all of these different elements into one... <sighs> So bringing all of these different elements together into one AI trailer is not as straightforward as you might think. Let me give you some context as to how much work went into this and what different tools I used to create it. So first of all, as you may have guessed, I used ChatGPT to create a storyline. I gave it a rough list of topics, themes, and elements that I wanted to cover in the story. I then asked it to walk me through a multiple choice questionnaire with five questions and each one with five options. And this way I was able to get some focused inspiration and still control the narrative in a structured way. Using my choices, ChatGPT then crafted a storyline, including the setting as well as the protagonists. And using that rough storyline, I was then able to translate this into a structure for my trailer. I selected two songs using my Artlist subscription, a slower paced one for the opening of the trailer, as well as a more fast paced one for the crescendo and the rising action in the second half of the trailer. And of course, I created some dialogue as well. So instead of jumping straight into mid journey and runway, I went to Eleven Labs first in order to create the initial speech of my narrator. I also created voices for the different characters in my story, and I used speech to speech to generate the actual dialogue. Hello, William. Hello, William. Why did I use speech to speech? Well, if you use text to speech, then very often the intonations will not necessarily be very natural, and they don't really fit the narrative every single time. So instead, I created my own voiceover, including sometimes speaking with an accent, and then use speech to speech to generate the natural and vivid dialogue. So once you have these three elements in place, you usually have sufficient structure in order to start working on the visual part of your video. It's a little bit like working in a coloring book. Once you have those outlines, all you need to do is fill in the gaps. And that's exactly what I did. I generated a total of 1,848 images in mid journey. Yes, that many. And if you'd like to learn how to control mid journey with intent so that you get the very most out of each one of those GPU hours, then check out my Midjourney course, Masters of Midjourney, links in the video description. Anyway, so from those 1800 images, I shortlisted 624, and of course I didn't use every single one of those. Instead, I filtered them down even further and finally generated 962 clips in Runway. And yes, I was able to do this because I have an unlimited plan with Runway. However, trust me, if you're going to be working on something like this, then you're absolutely going to need it because you need to explore, try, and test out things. So from those 962 clips, I downloaded about 200 of them. And in the final trailer, I used around 170. And then I just threw it all into DaVinci Resolve, added some titles and some transitions, and that's it, right? Not quite. The finishing touches were actually in the 64 sound effects, the audio editing, and the occasional face swap, which was necessary. So overall, I worked on this for about seven days and probably around 50 hours in total. So yeah, for just under five minutes of video, that's a lot of work, but trust me, it's also a whole lot of fun. Anyway, so that's my quick behind the scenes look at how this trailer was created. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and remember to check out the video description for my journey course, as well as a whole bunch of other free stuff. Thanks for watching and remember, keep on learning. Take care.